What is up everybody? The Hunter GT with thehuntergt.com. What do we got out here today? Well, you look cold, the Huntress. It is cold. It is windy and chilly here in Colorado today. Uh, the wind is blowing. Excuse me if it's coming in on the speakers there. But we are gonna hunt it anyway. She has her F-19 right here, ready to go. Her nice new dust cover. Boy, it's looking all prettied out, isn't it? Nice. Here we have the Fisher F70 today. I'm going to be testing that out on camera. We'll check out some signals. Got a buddy here with us swinging his mine lab over there. He's a little camera shy. He doesn't want to be on camera, so we'll just show him from a distance. He'll call us over if there's any rad targets, and we'll show those on video. All right. Oh my gosh, it's cold, isn't it? And you're just, you should have brought your jacket. Are you regretting not bringing it? No, not yet. You are too. I will. You are too. All my, right, my thighs and my fingers are the coldest. Yeah, it's pretty cold guys. We are doing this for you. Look at this snow on the ground out here. There was snow on the ground out here. We are die hard. We are doing this for you guys. We love you guys on YouTube. I can't babble much more today. I, I know I like to chat it up, but that is it. We gotta get detecting and uh, cut it short, man. Cut it short. We gotta cut it short and get detecting. All right, thehuntergt.com. Go check us out. The forums, the blog, all that good stuff. Let's go find some coins. All right guys, out here detecting today with our buddy. He's a little camera shy, so we're not gonna show him on video, but he's allowed us to show his hand on video here and check out the collection he has here today. So a 1940 nickel. We have a Merc dime right here, and what'd you say this was here? Uh, a Barber and a Rosie. A Barber and a Rosie dime there. So all about six inches. So he has hit it good today. He is running the mine lab, and check out the Coil Tech coil on there a huge coil and we are here at the La Honta Park like I showed you in the intro but I just wanted to show this uh, quite the handful of goods there so pretty good stuff coming from this park the Huntress is still setting up her detector so hopefully she gets lucky here today as well so right on all right guys let's get back at it and uh, hopefully we can find something awesome like that too let's do it all right what a good omen first find of the day by the Huntress a wheat penny, one cent is, can't tell the year, flip it over there. It's a little, yeah, it's pretty crusty, it's, a little it's up. pretty crusty, so we'll get it home and it clean it up. It was seven inches down, so. Seven inches <laughs> down, F19 having no problem hitting seven inches. Ground's pretty dry for this snow, and uh, it's a little damp, it's I guess, damp. but uh, should get a little extra depth there. All right, first find of the day, wheat penny, go Thank Huntress, you. good job. Thank you. No. Well, okay guys, the Huntress is adamant that we show our buddy Stan, he's our internet buddy, uh, Dig Doug's dad, um, he's in our forum, go check our forum out, but anyways, uh, he's always making a comment here in jest, he, he's just in comedy, uh, that the Huntress must be putting coins in her bag for the challenges. We're not doing a challenge no today challenge or anything, today. no challenge today, but... It is, it, it is, is empty. empty. No false pouches or anything in there. So one wheat penny. There it goes. So. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Stan. She said, you, you have to show it. You, you have, have to, to show it. <laughs> <laughs> On to the next. So her first find of the day is a wheat penny. Yeah, <laughs> smile it up. Go ahead. Come on, laddie. My first find is this metal ball. You know, if I was in Civil War territory or something, I'd say, hey, maybe this is some sort of cannon shot or some cheap sort of buckshot or something who knows well, yeah and you know what she says oh cool I'd be happy with a metal ball as my first but why don't we trade then and you give me your wheat penny and you can have this metal ball here <laughs> smack you in the head with this metal ball here I'm gonna toss it at you in a minute on to the next all right guys, check it out. Just called me over here. We were comparing signals and this was right at six, seven inches down here. Nice old pendant here. Pretty cool. And we're, we're assuming it's pretty old. This is an old park and anything that deep is uh, pretty old. So pretty awesome. Cool. Good, good stuff, man, for sure. Excellent. All right, on to the next. Sweet. <laughs> All right, another one of those same whole stories there. The Huntress just got a dime and a Bud Light cap right in the same hole. It's a uh, 99 dime, I want to say. Mm-hmm. Yep. And the Bud Light crown cap right in the same hole. Now, yeah, they're both going to ring up the same, but uh, sometimes these are really bouncy, especially on this F-19. It does a really good job of letting you know. Uh, she has an iron audio on this as well, so these really give an iron 
grunt every once in a while. Um, but yeah, she picked up that dime. I think uh, I can avoid these with the F-19 and uh, pretty good job. So it, it's kind of a hit or miss. It may have been ringing that up as a dime too, but either way, I don't know, yeah. to trash and treasure in one hole is uh, I'll take it. always good. That's right, we will take it. All right, on to the next. All right, guys, well, I just hollered. Everybody came running over. I don't think it's for anything great, but it's it rang awesome. up as, it's still awesome, it's still awesome. awesome. It rang up as a 34, 35, and there it is. I think it has some plating. Obviously, it's not uh, solid gold, anything like that. You can see underneath where there's some uh, brown coloring from the uh, bronze or brass or iron, stainless steel that they put underneath, I don't know, so. But it does appear to have some gold on it, so it did ring up right as a nickel, so I mean it's not enough gold, it looks like it's just gold plated flakes on there basically, but it does appear to have some genuine gold on it. Hmm. Still cool. Pretty cool, yep. Right on. A ring's a ring's a ring. Ding dong. Alright guys, pinpointed right here about five inches with the F70 and another jewelry item. I'm over in the same spot by the same tree, so check it out. Come on, baby, zoom in there. Let's get it to zoom. There we go. Pretty cool, huh? Another little piece of jewelry. This one bounced high in the silver range. This was not, no gold on this one. Um, yeah, nice cool little pendant. Not bad, not bad. Deep, too. Five inches, six inches down there, so good stuff. On to the next. All right, look at the Huntress. I just asked her a minute ago, <laughs> you find anything good? And a uh, couple of bottle caps. And uh, she just walks over and says, well, we got another wheat penny. So there it is, a 1942. Mm -hmm. That is a war penny. Woohoo! Pretty good stuff. Pretty good. 1942 wheat penny right there. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. And I am digging me a target right here. Good. We will see what we get here mm -hmm. when we return. Okay, well I found my target, and the huntress goes back over there to her hole and says, Oh, look, as i fill it back in, there's another wheat penny right on the side of the hole. So This what one's years? a 1929. Oh my goodness, bring it down here. It sure is. Look at that, guys. Let's get it to zoom in there. 1929 on that wheat penny. woo Pretty good. So three wheat pennies <laughs> just like that today. It was just sitting right there when I was getting ready to shove it back Boy, in the hole. Excellent. This park is not hunted out, is it? No. And, uh, yeah. So look what I found. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Ah. Awesome. Don't you love those? Beaver tail. Well, I can't complain though. The F70 has found me a gold plated ring and some jewelry here today. Oh, so cool. I'm not showing you guys the tones or anything like that because the review's coming up. I know you guys are always show us some beeps, Hunter. Show us some tones and show us the, the display, Hunter. You, know, you guys will just have to wait for the review now, won't you? You know my rules. I don't show stuff like that until the review. And then afterwards, I'll show you the tones on my digs and everything, right? Usually, except for the T2. That's my one exception because I've had it so long. And I've been holding that review off for so long. But anyways, a beaver tail. Another one. I'm, I'm pulling a lot of the uh, gold range today, guys. Unprecedented territory for me. The Huntress is over there killing it with her F-19. Uh, our buddy over there is killing it with his mine lab, and he has already found a old seeded dime, a rosy dime, uh, two rosy dimes, so he's on a three silver streak today. We are, uh, and he's called us over for every single target, and we have hit most of them. Not every single target, not his dimes, but uh, a couple other targets I've been able to hit, so I'm uh, feeling pretty good. He has a huge coil on that mine lab, so he is absolutely going deeper than us. He's getting the deep stuff today. We are going for the separation and unmasking here with our uh, smaller football size coils, but all three of us having a good time. Nobody is competing here. We are out here to have a grand old time, and that is exactly what we're doing, enjoying our hobby. Let's go find some more.